So, we are going to have a chat. We've had loads and loads of questions, as always, on various YouTube channels, whatever. And one that keeps popping up all the time, isn't it, is weird items of tackle or strange items of tackle that we've yes, been using. Yes, absolutely, mate. So, we're going to have a little in-depth, very sensible, very serious conversation. Always serious for you. <laughs> about... These random items of tackle have popped up <laughs> over the years, haven't we? Because I can't the, wait for your first one, mate. <laughs> the the fin some special ones. So yeah, we're going for, for me, there's been loads, aren't there? I, yeah. I, I reckon I missed it without... I ain't young by any stretch of imagination, but it seems to be just before I got into it that they're all the special, amazing items of tackle we're about. Definitely. For, what, um, for me, the, the one that I regret not owning ever, and I still want one. If anyone knows of one, I want one. Is a pole cat. Mate, honestly, <laughs> honest to God, I couldn't believe you never had a go with one. No. All the big shows that you go to, there's always a bloke in the corner who's got these like little target boards and you've got to get pellets through the holes and you win prizes. Is he still there? You win like a bag now? of pellets and everything, yeah. And he's fine. Honestly, him. mate. I'm coming to find him wherever. <laughs> and they're just, they're amazing. They're like proper, proper weird contraption like. It's a toy, isn't it? Yeah, it's just you a just toy end to up like with. that. No, I'm not fishing. I just want to play with this. See how far you can get it. Bidding, yes. and that's it. it. Had a rubber ring round it, mate. That was your. <laughs> you pull your thing. Your length. Dancing. Your length thing was. <laughs> but for anyone who doesn't know, it, it is. It's a catapult on a stick, isn't it? Yeah. It's this weird like oh, catapult mate. with a little cup on that you, you pull down on your leg and you fire it. it they were right weird things. You could yeah. like you could like it'd be really accurate though. You know, it, it? yeah, it groups like pellets up to 30 meters in a right tight area. Yeah. But you just hear it going off all day. If someone was <laughs> using it, you were like, ah, what is that noise? We keep it down please. Isn't oh why wow, proper noisy. Proper colour dung. And if you lost it, that's it, it's gone. Never ever getting that back out. Just like, <laughs> yep, see you so later. You three arms, you've got 60 meters of pole and then you've got this catapult. <laughs> <laughs> Not going there. <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> When, when you extend the ring to its full amount, though, you've got to, like, pull it all the way is back. It? it takes some going, mate. Well, if it, like, slips off you, is it taking That's a fellow behind you yeah, out? Yeah, it's he's gone. <laughs> ding! To visit to hospital. <laughs> Poor Rich is filming us like that. <laughs> no polecats. But, yeah, if anyone's oh, got one, mate. I want a polecat. Brilliant. So, uh, other random ones. What else have we gone out? So, roller glove. I don't know if any of you remember the pole roller glove as well. I actually had one of these. Uh, Dave Costello, best tackle shop in the world, Dave's a Middlewich. He managed to get hold of one for me when I was probably 10 or 11 years old. So, I'm going back, well, 30 years now. And it was basically just like a, a, like a baseball glove, really, with like a, 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 a wheel on it. It had like three or four like, rollers, didn't it? It was just, yeah, it was just like proper weird. <laughs> Uh, so you just get your pole and just like rub it all. Sounds wrong, doesn't it? It was in your end going fishing in the old time, but you're just sort of like rubbing your pole over this glove. And yeah, it's, it's just one of them. It didn't didn't last long, to be fair. No. It's just getting away, wouldn't it? You try and unship it and you... And like, not very fish protection-wise either. Like, where's the slime on you? Oh, sorry, it's you all You drop all the fish because it just falls through your hand, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> like that. No. no protective fish. Oh. is like, oh, where's all the slime gone? Where's my coat gone? Yeah, definitely work catching on. What, what else do we mention a minute ago? Magic bread. Magic bread, that's another one. Have you used it? I have. I, we used to buy it for Brookside. Oh, I mean, right, okay. Because it'd be handy to, if you didn't buy bread, you'd have this, this what are we going to call it? Polystyrene loaf. Yes. <laughs> it was, yeah. that's what it was like, but it was like, when you put it in water, it'd just come back to bed it consistency. It'd go to like a crusty couldn't loaf, shake it off. It? You know, you could slap with it and also, I used yeah. it all the time on the on the river, you know, trotting for chubs and that. Wasn't and it, it really brilliant. floaty? Very floaty. Very, very it was hard like, to get um, on it. French bread consistency, wasn't it? You know, like French toast little thing, you know, the little tiny yeah. babby one, but it come back to like proper bread. It was a random one. I'd um, love to just chuck a whole loaf in and see what it did. It goes about that big. Wouldn't it? Ah, <laughs> it. Yeah, expand out. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it, it definitely worked now. Uh, <laughs> what other ones? What other ones? So swing tips and spring tips oh. and them sidewinder tips as well. I mean, I've fished with both swing tips and spring tips and swing tips if you couldn't you didn't know how to cast them there's a certain technique you couldn't give it could you, you had it'd to be like, like whoosh and that was it snapped off start thread your rod again yeah. it was a nightmare you start to have the special rods with the screw in eye on the end yes i used to have one of them oh man so you'd have honestly. like a 12 ounce test curb rod <laughs> with this little swing tip in, you? oh they had a good days then though they were they were proper mate and like <laughs> spring tips we used to use spring tips a lot and they were really good really sensitive i still think i think it might be tricaster you still do spring tip rods and all that like little sort yeah. of six, seven foot rods. And they, yeah, like they, they were really good. Spring, what's a spring tip's even more sensitive, do we Really think? sensitive. So, it literally, it, it's a, like a quiver tip, but on the spring. And with <laughs> so you bite it like, you, you ain't, like, right you ain't casting no a method feeder with them, are you? No. 
<laughs> the bites would be amazing, I don't know. <laughs> I just can't I imagine I'm going to bite a bit. There was like a distinct chance of death for people, wasn't there, with them like... Back in the day, mate, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and what else, obviously, it's still allowed now. It's not like weird tackle, but double looking. I've done double looking so I've many times. I've never double looked in my life. Honestly, mate, it's amazing. Is it? When you're catching like two and three pound bream, double headers. So what other the Weaver phenomenal. actually put one on at the weekend? Yeah, it was Dave McManus, wasn't it? A two, 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 two pound, two pound bream. Two, two pound bream. Like, it's weird. You've got to sort of like go for the, the bottom one, then sort of like come and get the, the top one, it's like proper weird. I won't be able to, if I got beat by someone that caught two at once, I'd lose it. Do you, do you? I'd be like, you just, what's just going on? You can't do that. You just, you've got to knack it. <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, what, else, what else do we have done, Rich? Clever Claw. Out Clever out. Claw, yeah. Did you ever have one though? Didn't Nathan Watson do the promo video on it? Yeah, I wonder why that didn't sell. <laughs> Never mind, Nathan. Bless him. <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were good though, weren't they? Obviously, there were four. Um, you know, if you had a bad back or you had a sore arm, basically have a clever claw on your, your back leg. Yeah. You put your pole under it, and then it's literally, it was like really sensitive. As soon as you like, you push down it, the clever claw would come out, and that's it. You could ship your pole. It back. like popped up and released. Yeah. So you like, you jammed sort of your pole on the claw and then on your leg, so you could feed it. That's the thing. It's because no one could feed with a catty properly, wasn't it? Poles were that heavy back yes, then. Definitely. It was hard to, to feed properly like we do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was just like a look at that clever claw. Like that. Right. And what, what, what them floats with the feet? Um, Polaris. Polaris floats, like the lock slide thing and all that. I've used them before. Yeah, I've never used so them. So you chuck it out on a normal feed and just sort of like pay your line out and then you see your float pop up and you just stay there. They must have a use then for like carpy marker floats or something, just, wouldn't they? Just mega deep water. Is that what they're better yeah. for? And they like self lock? They sort of yeah. like lock on your line, but then they slide down when you got to them. Yeah. Proper good. Didn't but someone do a pole pop that kind of hooked on? There was a hook on your pole. Yeah, so you put it on the water and it and turned up. It and it just fell over. Yeah, oh, we've, we've had this then. conversation before, the, the old hanging pole pots. Yeah. They what you're on about. Yeah. That someone actually sent me a picture of one, said they still make them. They were the best things in the world. They were good. Kim Milson. I've never, did a never video actually had to go with them, but I've seen them. Oh, and you could ship out like a million mile an hour. And it'd still be like, like going, going, going. Oh, it would make it. it yeah. Pop it on the water. They were good, were they? Yeah. But what happens if you've got like a stodgy mix, if you like done your ground bait wrong and it's stuck in it? Well, it didn't happen in them days. And it wouldn't matter because it'll just tip and you could just dunk it in the water and it'll all come out. Like, I'm going to make it. Hurt it, Mate, do us one. I'm going to make it. you do it in fish oil? No, I'll Just not. go out there, pre bait it with one of them. Pre bait it with a. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we could, we could have like an old school challenge or something. Go on, think of one more, one more good. We, we must have mentioned another one then. I forgot what we were talking There's, about. Um, what was that real thing that you're on about, Rich, where you could twist your reel round as well? It was like a centre pinny reel, but then you could twist it round for like a close face reel. Yeah. I vaguely remember that. I think it was shake, shake. I've never yeah. actually, I, I've seen it, but I've never actually had to go with it. Wasn't it? It, it get, was like get proper. Get them with an A, I think. Oh, I can't remember. Adidas. That. No. <laughs> <laughs> But no, if, <laughs> joking aside, if you've got any serious items, it's proper lovely talking about all these sorts of things, uh, isn't it? Yeah, so it's brilliant. We want to see in we the need comments. We need to have a doing it, don't we? Like you said, we need to have a challenge on like antique gear or old gear or gear Weird that's not gear. used anymore. Yeah, something that made it harder like to catch pole fish. Remember the, the elastic in the end of the poles on the pole hook a crook. crook thing and all that? We need to do it, mate. Old fiberglass the poles. Rappy, rappy winders. Oh, rap, yeah, like, we're, we're going to shout to people for this, though, aren't we? This oh, is yeah, the black. Yes. I'll let yeah. you go on this, Jay. This <laughs> is like the sponsorship question for Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that, like, what we're on about is the connectors. I, I, I'm not sure who makes them. There's big, massive connectors that go on the end of your pole that you can wrap all your rig around. They're about that long and they have two, like, fins. Don't black, they? aren't they? There's, like, a little tiny bit that you thread on your line and then you tie it on, then you can just wrap it, can't yes, you? Yes, and you wrap all your rig. Brilliant for if you want one. They're no, one rig Jay, they're not brilliant. Life. No. I've got to be nice. You can't slag it off. All right, yeah, they're amazing. We'll do that when the camera's off. <laughs> <laughs> Rich says he stopped filming, Jay. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a special place for them. The, in the bin. It's like you've got your pole and you've got. It's like having a wheelie bin on the end of your pole, isn't it? It's just, no. Nice, subtle little connectors. They're, they're big ones that store your rig and you have 300 metres of line just so you can keep pulling the floats You up. know I'm going to deface all your top kits now with them, don't put you? Everyone put everyone on. Put everyone on. Oh! Them. <laughs> I don't like them. You don't like them just as much as me. No, just... to be fair. When, when we see them when we're coaching, it's one of them, you get a shiver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you like using them, do you, mate? Well, have a try with these first. You, yes. you try and get them to change. But, you know, they, they have the place. In the bin. In the bin. <laughs> no, it's one of them. It's got to be nice. Yes. Do you remember that pole gas that they advertised at when Paul was real? Oh, oh yeah, uh, Will, Will Raisin did it, didn't he? Remember, in Angling Times and April Fools, he had a, a gas canister of helium. 
And he said, if you inject this into your pole section, it makes you pole feel light. really light. And lots of people fell for it. Apparently they had loads of like email. And, and then they were really angry when he's saying, how, how dare you do this? I can't believe you've done this. Uh, the other one was as well onto that subject, April Fools, was uh, double maggot. You remember that one? No. Um, a double maggot in one, so it's like a maggot with like two heads. A Siamese maggot. A Siamese maggot, it? that was another I remember one. the giant maggot. Giant with maggots The superimposed well. one, it was like that big. Yes. Uh, yeah, they've done quite a few actually, Angler's Mail. Uh, or Angling Times, one of them. They probably got me on that double maggot. I'm like, Dad, get some of these, we need to get on these. <laughs> Son, just give it one of them, Daddy May. Just shook his head. <laughs> <laughs> In disgust. <laughs> probably got a backhand as well. <laughs> right, come on, that, that's enough chatting, that's for do a bit of fishing but if you've got any comments we want to hear the weirdest thing stick it in the comments at the bottom the weirdest item of tackle is what we want to see absolutely and if it's special then we've got to use it in the challenge or something yeah no that'd be brilliant smash you up on the uh, on the weird gear and as ever folks thank you so much to all our uh, subscribers but please carry on like and subscribe our page we really appreciate it